sorry to interrupt. You guys are probably wondering, how did we get here? And more importantly, who are these guys? Well, these guys are the Marvelous Three or M3. Too much rock for one hand. Before they were Marvelous Three, they were these guys. And when they were South Gang, you go back a good 30 so years ago, they played multiple shows uh, across New York, circa 92, 91, 93 era. Um, one of those shows, uh, we were the local support band, or one of many local support bands, um, and got to at least talk to these guys a bunch, um, hang out with them a little bit, build a little rapport 30 something years ago. And when we saw them at their local shows, um, this embarrassing moment happened at one point. And the good news is, no longer with her. But like all good things, South Gang came to an end, and then it was these guys. Uh, Floyd's Funk Revival, or the Floyds, um, which lasted for basically um, this record. You can find this likely um, on YouTube, at like a full upload or uploads of the songs of the record, um, which didn't last either. And then it became these guys, Marvelous Three. And full disclosure, when these guys did do the Marvelous Three band, um, I wasn't hip to that band for some time until um, later part of their run because I met this wonderful person 26 years ago that became my wife 24 years ago. By the time that Marvelous 3 broke up and letters came out, I was back into listening to Butch on a full-time basis. We got to meet up with Butch uh, 2009 time period or so and caught up a little bit about... Um, hair metal days. Mary and I have seen Butch play a few times, including last year in Atlanta, which I thought it couldn't get any better until this happened. Oh, by the way, Jason Slug, I love you guys. They're here tonight, by the way. <laughs> Fast forward about seven months later, and in May of this year, tickets went on sale for the reunion of Marvelous 3, as well as the announcement that a new record was coming. And now we're on our way with our full-grown daughter, who also grew up listening to Butch, South Gang, Marvelous 3, back to Atlanta, seven hours away, going to catch the first of their three shows at the Tabernacle in Atlanta. I'm going to take you guys along. Let's go. said hello to us in that Bucky's and I forgot to get a name so if you're watching the video comment below thank you so much for saying hello always so weird to be out of state and saying hello to people that watch the channel that's so cool <laughs> talk about that motel hope Till Holiday Inn. Atlanta, Georgia. Leaving the game on Lucky Street indeed. All right, more than an hour before doors open. This is the line to get in. You see this line kind of goes on and on and on and on. 
And here it is, the mighty tabernacle. Ninety Nine X presents Marvelous Three. The crazy thing is, Marvelous Three existed nineteen ninety seven to two thousand one. Four years, but tonight we're celebrating essentially twenty five years, and a brand new record. People have flown in from all over the world for this show. Getting interviewed over here. Sound check going on while we're waiting out here. I can hear you so yesterday. Another plane. Let it burn. I want in. People are cheering something. Perhaps we're going in. All right, so we made security. Now we're just coagulated by the door. And we're in. feels magical. Let's see merch. Immediately made a beeline for merch. Let's take a look at the merchandise. We've got vinyl, we have hats, water bottles, koozies, and shirts, and a poster. This is the line for merch now. Holy cow. So here's the shirts. Better look. And these posters are limited. Check it out. Sorry about that. It's okay. Pretzels, cheese, and beer. Nice little lounge. A bar and merch and a giant ticket. Wait a second. I'm not sure this is a valid ticket for the show. No, no, you scan it and everything. It's not going to fit in my wallet. It is quite packed as everyone is rushing in here. Oh, there is an upstairs. Very much like House of Blues. Got a bar. So by the way, the Tabernacle. It is a converted church. Which is ironic because it's not the first time I've seen these guys play in a converted church. I believe I've seen South Gang play at Limelight in New York City in the early 90s as well. Which also converted church. So this is the view from the chief seats here. And we've got a pole that's in the way of potentially Mary seeing everything. But I'm guessing people will maneuver around. This is the stage set up looks great we're not in general emissions so we're not fighting for everyone like pushing around down there this guy he's got a pole right in front of his face and by the way these seats are VIP with the VIP lounge they're premium seats yikes so show time was supposed to be eight o'clock I'm suspecting it'll probably be closer to nine but this is what it looks like inside we do have this mass of humanity on the floor this place holds about 2,500 people Atlanta, Georgia, how y'all feel? That's all I'm talking about. I know Marvelous Three's in the house tonight. All right, we're going to have a little fun before they come out. What we're going to do is 7.20 a.m. Monday morning, we're going to give it away on the Morning X. No one else knows that, so listen at 7.20. Marvelous Three! Yeah! The roof is about to come off of the tabernacle. They're playing the Tampa National Anthem. Oh my goodness. Here we go. It's happening.
soon. You know we got a long way to go. But two songs is enough time to probably wondering, who is this guy? Have you been wondering? Well, this guy right here was about two years old when we were last a band playing at Music Midtown in Atlanta. Walking around on stage with his toy guitar. Let's just say, over 20 years later, he's a grown ass man playing a real guitar. The offspring of Jace Fincher himself, Holden Fincher! making us look good. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you either. I'm taking this moment to talk because I'm fucking tired already. I just want to be able to sing through the songs and not sound like <laughs> So, uh, it's important to just get a little breather here because the adrenaline's flowing and we haven't done this in over 20 years. Chase, we haven't done this in over 20 years. Slug. Slug. I can tell you that our eyes light up every time we see each other and there is nothing better than that. That friendship, no music industry bullshit could ever tear us apart or break us down and make us not be friends anymore. Even though our band had to stop, we still love each other. And I have more fun making music with these guys than anybody in the fucking world. Papa Tissola. Papa Tissola is not a 
word. Hey! A lot's happened since then, though. There's a lot more songs we could fuck with. <laughs> It's a blast, but, you know, never will we complain again about, you know, not getting enough tomatoes in our rider or whatever. <laughs> We've always been known for our live show, a real live band. Not tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Not tomatoes. No, our tomatoes. Atlanta, Georgia is the home of my next guest. We're here tonight to perform a song from their brand new release, Hey Album. Let's give you a minute.
What the fuck is up, Denny's? That wasn't from the lemon. Oh. 